Redbrook is a village in Gloucestershire, England, Gloucestershire. and Monmouthshire, Wales. Sign from Monmouthshire. It sits on the border. It is located on the River Wye and is within the Wye Valley area of outstanding natural beauty. Redbrook was historically an important industrial centre, with many industrial sites including mills and ironworks, tin plate works and copper works. The oldest site is the King's Mill, which was a corn mill first recorded in 1434 and which remained in use until 1925. The Redbrook Copper Works used ore brought from Cornwall via Chepstow and worked until 1740 when it closed down and the buildings were leased for the manufacture of tin plate. It is from this iron ore that the village got its name. <coughs> it is from this the it is from this iron ore that the village got its name. The brook running down the valley through the village often ran red dark red. The tin plate factory run by the Redbrook Tin Plate Company was known for the high quality product it made and did not close until 1962. Redbrook was also a river port where the various products of the local industries were shipped. The village once boasted no less than 13 inns and three breweries. The last brewery to close in 1926 was the Redbrook Brewery and the site is still marked by Brewery Yard and Brewery Terrace. Redbrook on Wye was the last station before Monmouth on the Wye Valley Railway. The railway was opened in 1876 to connect Monmouth to the South Wales Line, closing to passengers in 1959 and to freight in 1964. Today, a wood-decked footbridge spans the river which once carried the railway. Redbrook has a population of 372 and is a village amidst wooded hills. The village the little Church, <coughs> a little English above the river is the 19th century Church of St. Saviour. This boat which will not be reopening from April the 12th. I think uh, they've said they're opening from the 26th with other Welsh pubs. And yet, if you look over there, that's the English side of Redbrook. And this is still part of Redbrook. Except this is Wales and there's not even a sign to distinguish the two. Despite, there's no sign saying welcome to Wales or welcome to England here, which is weird. It's got the county signs, but there's no, not, it's, on this viaduct, there's no signs at all for the English Welsh border. This is Wales. Let me tell you, if you're in South Wales and you want to be in England and Wales at the same time, where do you come? Redbrook. This village sits right on the border between England and Wales. A bit of a border dispute with the construction of Offa's Dyke by King Offa, the English king, thousands of years ago, and between the border changes between the medieval period and the and the and the border the county border act of 1972, which saw different counties divided, as Monmouthshire, which part of this village sits in, and the other side sits in Gloucestershire in the Forest of Dean district. Monmouthshire used to be part, used to be considered England under the government until 1972 when the reshuffle happened the border was moved from the Rumney River towards the River Severn but in Newport but in what today is Newport, Torbine, Monmouthshire and Blyder Gwent and parts of Cardiff, St Melons and Pan Rumney into Wales. Because that river, that little stream there is the border. The English Welsh border runs through that stream. So this ha this property here, South it's South Catering accommodation, which is allowed to open in England from Monday. This is why it's not open yet, because part of it's in England, part of it's in Wales, despite self-contained accommodation being allowed to be opened in Wales. There's a, there's the sign for England. Just over there, and there's a sign for Wales, Monmouthshire. Just there, the border runs right through the middle of that road and literally around curves around up there. So, the top half of the village is Wales, all this side is England. So, if you look on this side of the road, this is England, Wales, the county of Monmouthshire. Fell in in the English part of Redbrook. So this will be reopening from Monday the 12th under the English government with pubs 
are scheduled to reopen on Monday, this, this Monday coming. However, the pub across, across the river there, which is in the same parish and under the same postcode, will remain closed because of the Welsh Government. So with COVID, there's been different rules on two different sides of this village. Different parts of this village, even people's houses, have been under different rules to the other part because they're divided by the border. Time for the boat, which will not be reopening from Monday the 12th, despite being in the same village, because it's in Wales. And just over there, the bell is in England. <laughs> so, two different pubs in the village, only one of them opens. Oh yeah, and Redbrook's also got its own football team. The Redbrook Rovers. I think Redbrook Rovers is one of the teams that plays in the... I think they play in the Welsh League. I believe, with ND, ND Athletic. I have to check on that, but I'm pretty sure Redbrook Rovers plays in the Welsh League. Brook over there. At least the English side, anyway. And there as well, on the viaduct. The Penalt Viaduct. Yeah, a Welsh name, isn't it? Here's, this is an extended beer garden for the uh, for the boat, I believe, on the opposite side of the river. Yeah. Yeah, this is for the boat, and yet this is the English side. So the pub in the Welsh side actually uses land on the English side. That is strange. So despite part of the pub being in the English side, part of the pub's in England, part of the pub's in Wales. That is odd. <laughs> 